In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect your phone to internet using an ethernet cable. This is gonna be useful, especially if you wanna use your phone to live stream and you kinda using it as your main device and you want it to have a strong connection. So let's not take much time, let's actually get right into it. What's going on guys, my name is Sam, you're watching the production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So nowadays, most people are actually using their phones for live streaming, me included. And one thing you notice is with your phone, mainly you're going to be using either your cellular network or your Wi-Fi. However, if you're streaming from a place where you have access to internet, like wired internet, there's actually a way to connect your phone and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm actually using an iPhone. And what we're going to be using is this little adapter that I got from Amazon. I'm going to leave some links down below if you guys are interested. So as you can see, this is going to be really, really straightforward. Now, depending on the iPhone that you're using, I'm using the iPhone 13. If you're using the iPhone 15, it's probably going to be something different because it uses USB Type-C. For the iPhone 14 and below, you should be able to use the Lightning cable. And basically, this little adapter, it has Lightning cable that will connect into your phone just like so. And I've got my Ethernet cable right here. Right now, it's actually connected to my Ethernet switch. All you gotta do, as you can see, you have your Ethernet connection, your Ethernet port. And what's cool about this little device, this little adapter, is that you actually have another port that you can use to charge your phone. So if you're streaming and you wanna be able to charge your phone at the same time, this is gonna be super useful. Just go ahead and actually connect it and boom, we are good to go. So now that we have our phone connected, actually, I'm gonna show you how to test it because you may be in a place where you have access to Wi-Fi and Ethernet at the same time, but you wanna make sure you prioritize just Ethernet. So what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and go to our network settings, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi, that's what you need, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off cellular connection as well. And then the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and actually do a quick test and see if we're getting the speed that we're supposed to be getting. So if I go to Google and type in internet speed, I can just go ahead and type in internet speed just to make sure I do a quick internet speed test, just to make sure that I'm actually getting the speed from the ethernet connection, which is supposed to be stable, especially if you live streaming, Wi-Fi is never reliable. So having access to ethernet is actually super, super big. So as you can see, I'm getting 92.2 megabits download and 93.4 upload. Again, this is not the real actual speed that I have on my internet connection. So just to make sure everything's 100% disabled, let's go to settings and then go to Wi-Fi. And then you want to make sure you go and toggle the Wi-Fi option off. So this way you are 100% sure that your Wi-Fi is turned off. So now we have everything everything Wi-Fi turned off and everything. The only thing that we have coming into the phone as a network is gonna be our wired network. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and actually hit go back. Just go to Google again, just type in internet speed. We can actually go to fast.com and try to test our internet and see what we get. So as you can see, my internet speed is actually super, super fast. I'm able to get about 90, 80, between 80 and 90. Again, this is going to depend on your adapter, your internet speed. This is going to guarantee you to have a super powerful connection and more stable. So guys, how you know that this adapter is actually working, you're going to see, you're going to have a blue light blinking when you have the phone connected and everything. So you know that it's actually working and that's pretty much it. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use this exact same setup to be able to use your phone as a camera using an application called Video Ninja. So basically, this is going to be a wired connection You're using an Ethernet cable, which means you can use a cable that's like 100, maybe 100 feet, 50 feet, any distance that you want. There are other options where you can use USB, but USB is kind of limiting. There are other options where you can use an HMI cable. Same thing, an HMI cable is kind of limiting in terms of distance and flexibility so i'm gonna show you how to use really this same cable which is an ethernet cable and your phone and be able to connect it to your computer we're gonna be using phone as a camera and go live using obs obviously and i'm gonna make that video and it's gonna be linked right here so make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys take care